Guys, it's the real deal. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, I'm going to be showing you a team comp today. The Destroyer Tag Arena can even be used to speed farm plat. It is now one of my favorite team comps. I'm using it almost in literally every single tag team arena fight now. Um, so let's have a look at the team comp. So the team comp we're going to be using is um, Arbiter, Astrolith, Vizier and Yoshi. The only two champions you need for this team comp to work are Astrolith and Vizier. So how it works is Astrolith will throw out bombs that cannot be resisted and then Vizier steps in and he will spread those bombs across, across the entire team. Um, but you don't, you know, Arbiter and Yoshi, they can be replaced. Um, you know, Arbiter, you just need two champions that are really fast and going to boost the turn meter of your team. Champions you can't use though are Necmo, champions like that that will throw out other debuffs because otherwise that means your bombs may not be spread across the enemy team. So the team comp here at the bottom is a perfect example. Teams that are high resistance, ideally in stone skin, um, you know, tanky, slow, and we are literally just going to blow them away. And, you know, the more you do tag arena, you know, you will see these, you know, most people high end are going to have slow tanky high resistant team in stone skin and that's what we're going to be blowing away today so let's uh let's um show let's let's get into it let me show you how this team just wrecks peeps in arena okay, so we're gonna boost everyone's turbo of arbiter master yoshi is going to increase our accuracy then we are going to put bombs on python and then Vizier is going to spread that across the enemy team. So this is one thing to know. If you put the bombs on Duchess, there's a chance, a very good chance, that Vizier is not going to be able to spread those bombs across the entire team. And then literally just go one by one and just blows them all away. And as you can see, just super quick. And it's just one of my favorite team comps. Um, there's not much else to it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some other team comps that can mess this up. Just a few things to make sure you watch out when you are using this team comp. So here's a prime example of a team we need to make sure we avoid in Tag Arena. So boost the turn meter and we're going to put bombs on Ultimate Death Knight. And Marichka, as if she wasn't OP enough as it is, she is going to put block damage buff on the entire team. And that's just going to screw everything up. So you need to make sure you avoid her. It's a real shame because I wish the tactic worked because, you know, Marichka and Taris, they're so broken, and I just wish there was another way to be able to take them out. Um, other things you need to make sure you avoid are block block, uh, block debuffs. So champions that are going to be in immunity set or champions that do um, throw out, you know, block debuffs, you need to make sure that you avoid those um, team comps as well. So let's check out the gears and masteries. First on the list, we've got Arbiter, and of course she's all about speed, so she's in a triple speed set. Um, gloves, chest, it doesn't matter that they're flat stats. It's all about trying to get as much speed as you can. And those have the best roles on my account. Um, a cheeky little trick that you guys can use as well is you farm Nightmare Campaign Stage 6-6. Six, six, um, and then you want to get as many common boots with speed on as much as possible. Then you ascend them. If you do get speed as well, then you fully ascend that. And there's just a way to squeeze out another 12 speed on your Arbiter. Again, my banner, I wish this was like a triple or quad roll. Again, my Arbiter's quite slow. Um, she's only 357 speed. Um, I definitely need to start farming Dragon a little bit more so I can bump up that speed. So if you've got as much speed as you can, the next thing you want to do is start focusing on HP, defense and resistance. Uh, as much HP and defense as possible just to give her a bit of survivability if you don't get to go first but of course with Arbiter you always want to try and go fast first sorry that's why she's so fast uh, intimidating presence is like the only way to go really you know increasing your aura means that you are going to have a better chance of going far uh, first with her um, masteries the only thing that really matters is Laura Steel. Again, this is just trying to make her as fast as possible. Uh, timely intervention is really nice. So if any of your allies HP drops below 25% um, HP or gets killed, 
that means our tummy is going to uh, you know boost up by 20 percent and that means we have a good chance of cutting in so if someone does die we can revive them and then we can boost our um turn meter so we will get to go first um, another thing you can do is if you've got loads of resistance on your um, arbiter say you come up against like a torment or a hegemon this is going to help us not get locked out and you can take unshakable for an extra 50 percent resistance so it's just like a nice um, different way you can build her so that's arbiter next on the list we've got um oh so astrolyph she's right at the top so astrolyph it's all about attack. So we want attack percent HP, and then we just want as much speed as possible. Um, again, this is a bit of shame. It'd be nice to have like double rolls of speed on here. And then speed boots as well, just so she's nice and fast. I mean, you could swap these speed boots out for um, attack percentage. It's just that I use this Astrolyph for Bommel as well. So she's built for a specific way. Um, but yeah, ideally we'd want attack percentage, attack percentage, attack percentage, and then just as substats on everything with speed. Uh, ring, attack percentage, uh, attack on the uh, amulet, and then attack on the banner. So we've got 6.5k um, attack. Ideally, we'd want this to be higher. And again, you can just bump this up. Uh, it's, you know, just by having attack percentage boots, that'd help a lot. Um, but yeah, and then speed, so 271, that's pretty fast. And those are really the only stats that really matter on her. You can do crit rate for PvE, but for Arena, you don't need that. So you could definitely make her faster and definitely have more attack on her as well. Again, those are the only stats that we care about is speed, attack percentage. And that's it. That's all she needs. Um Temporal Chains is actually a really good blessing to take on her. Um, this will slow down the enemy team, again, making sure that we get to go first and put bombs on everyone. And then Masteries. Um, she doesn't really benefit from any of the tier Masteries, um, tier 6 Masteries, so that's why I've gone for War Master. Again, that's just to help me with Bommel. Um, but yeah she, yeah, she doesn't really benefit from a lot of the Masteries in Offense Tree. I guess the only ones are, are methodical and kill streak, but outside of that, not nothing's really going to help her bump up her damage. And again, I've actually taken attack here just to uh, get over crit rate, just to help bump up her attack a little bit. Uh, she doesn't really need accuracy, so I've gone for a little bit of HP, um, arcane celerity to boost our tamia when those bombs go off, and then Laura still just to help boost up her attack. Um, but yeah, she, she has really strange mastery. She doesn't really benefit from a lot just because she has such a weird kit. Actually, one thing I do want to go over, though, is her A3. Uh, this is such an amazing ability. Um, what I like to do is pair up with someone like a Maneater. What happens is she keeps her whole team alive. Astrolyph's HP drops to 1 HP. She exchanges HP with a tanky champion on the other team. doesn't matter how much HP they have. They swap HP. Then she turns around, she gives them a smack, and they just die instantly. It is one of my favorite skills. It is so good. Um, yeah, really cool. And then obviously, you've seen her A2 in action in Arena. Two bombs that could not be resisted. Um, and we just spread them across the team, blow everyone up. Just such an amazing strat. So then let's check out Master Yoshi. Again, he's just built really fast and with lots of accuracy. We've got defense on the gloves and um, only s double roll on speed. Should uh, probably upgrade him with uh, some glyphs. Resistance on the chest. Uh, this is an old build. It probably I should probably put accuracy on it. But, um, you know, because he has that accuracy buff, though, it's nice to have his resistance, resistance on there as well. It's like a hybrid buff, uh, a hybrid, hybrid build. And um, then we've got speed on the boots. Um, an attack on the ring. Um, ideally, this would be like a defensive one, but it's just because it had that reaction. That's why I took it. Um, HP on the amulet. And then we've got a resistance banner as well. So 267 speed. Again, I would like him to be a little bit faster just so he gets to go before Astrolyph and stop us getting cut in. And then accuracy. He doesn't need a whole bunch, but, um, you know, you can make this as much as you want if you do want that. 
fear um, debuff, uh, debuff to land. Masteries, again, yeah, pretty standard stuff. And just going into Eagle Eye, just that extra accuracy. And then Vizier. So again, he doesn't, you know, he doesn't really need a lot. He he's literally just in his team comp to spread bombs, uh, to spread bombs. So we've got um defense gloves, accuracy on the chest, speed on the boots, and then an accuracy banner. And he does not need a ring or an amulet. You know, he's literally just in here to spread those bombs. So we've got 252 speed and then 512 accuracy. He doesn't really need um, a lot of accuracy, um, but the reason is is that basically, say um, you come against someone like Duchess or something, then you do need accuracy. But if the champion's void, magic, or force, then it doesn't matter. But it's just nice to have it just in case. Um, I would fully book him out. Well, I guess his A1 doesn't really matter, but it's just all about his A3. So we do want to make sure that's fully booked for this team comp. Blessings, I don't think anything's really going to help with this. And the other thing is you don't want to kill the champion because if you do that, then, you know, you're not going to be able to spread those bombs across the team. And then Masteries, yeah, um, doesn't really benefit from a lot, really. It's just making sure that we've got Laura Steel. Ideally, he should probably have Eagle Eye instead. Um, but I've decided to take Giant Slayer just because he has a triple hit on his A1 and can just help finish people off if we need to. And yeah, that is the end of, pretty much the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll catch you in a video soon. Peace.